Echoes of a dark and violent past resonate throughout a savage land, steeped in treasure and blood. Hyperlight Drifter is an action-adventure RPG in the vein of the best 16-bit classics, with modernized mechanics and designs on a much grander scale. And that's all I know about it so far. Hey guys, like always, welcome back to the channel. This is Keith, and we are going in blind again. Just the way I like it. Orenko. Haven't used this name for a while. Wow, okay. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but that was possibly the most compelling intro I've seen for a game in a very long time. That art is absolutely gorgeous. So we appear to be some kind of intergalactic warrior that is on their way to some kind of relic or cure or fix because there's some sort of great sickness that is claiming the world and creating monsters, but also is clearly inside of us too. We just coughed up blood. We have an attack. A dash. Ooh. And I may have just accidentally healed myself or something. Triangle makes your little friend chime at you. And circle doesn't seem to do anything right now. Okay. Up here we... What is that? It looks like the head of some kind of great machine creature. I just noticed that it has like these mandibles or fangs or a muzzle or something. Cool water effect and lightning, by the way. It said 16-bit, but I don't think... Naturally, I think we're using the art style, but none of the actual uh, capabilities of said machines. 
All right, there's your mandatory. Make sure you know how to use your. Make sure you know how to use your uh, basic attack thing. Because how do you do a top-down adventure game without letting people destroy shrubs? A lot of destroyed machines around me. L1 is heal. There we go. I'm playing on PC, but with a PS4 controller. The game warns you when you first launch it that, hey, you should probably use a controller. So it's probably specifically designed with that sensibility in mind. What is this? Onwards. Wow, I think I'm already on board. This is a good start. A lot of mysterious artifacts around here. Little corners to check out, but not much going on in them yet. Oh yeah, the dash cr the dash does cross gaps. Could test whether it goes off cliffs. Let's just get that out of the way. The answer is yes. You lose one hit point. Okay, good to know. You don't just flat out die. It's so considerate of these developers to put out a brand new action RPG right when I'm finishing a uh, right when I just finished my playthrough of Salt and Sanctuary. It's just convenient. So considerate of these people that don't know me. <laughs> And I do not make their life plans around mine. <laughs> Ping the HUD. So every time you press triangle, it shows up the HUD briefly. Cause it, it'll auto hide, but if you press the item pickup button, it'll briefly show up again. My immersion. Oh. Sorry. So what are we looking at up here? We have more blocks. Infinity symbol of some kind. Can't... Oh. You can dash straight up a ladder, or whatever this is. That's that's looking like a lot of blood. I have looted a gun from a corpse, so I think the aim... Oop. Yeah. Aim with left trigger, shoot with right trigger. Looks like we have limited ammo, so let's not go too far into that. Oh, there we go. There's my tutorial. Anything useful? Just kind of debris? Nope. Crush it all! I'm just gonna have to insist on that, right? We can't have existing things around me. Let's see. Slash enemies and objects to charge guns. So as I destroy things, I'll get more ammo, apparently. Let's test that. That's not something I can do that to. Oh, enemies. Oh! Immediately taking a hit. It's not a good start for me. There we go. So our ammo's at five out of six. There we go. It's uh, yeah, you can see it's at five at five and a half now. So it's not one to one, but as you beat away at things, you'll get more shots. But it looks like you largely have to rely on melee. No problem with that. Hi. Um. Nope. You're dead. Okay. <laughs> that looked like that sure looked like a mini boss to me at first. So we're at the ruins of some kind of civilization, that's for sure. Hey, I bet he... Whoa, he could be awake now. What's over here? There's a yep. There's a purple, pink barrier thing. That's all we got for now. Can I hop down? You sure can. You have to run into it for a second, though, just to be sure. No? Alright. No, no take backs. It does kind of feel like, like, like the art style, I don't know, I'd almost describe it as like, uh... Fez Titan Souls a little bit? Th these are all good things. Die, nature! Nope, they're not vulnerable to, uh, gunshots. And yes, I am a monster. Trying to explore a bit. Don't know what, don't know how many secrets to expect in this kind of game, necessarily. Not a ton going on. This almost looks like a, Is this a barrier? A uh, path I can follow? Oh, that is a cliff. That's what I get. How about over here? Nope. There's more birds to scare. We have God's Rays. A very pleasant color palette. Look at this. It appears we have a destination. Can I go up, up behind here at all? 
Yeah, I might be probing for secrets that don't exist in the game. We'll see. Ooh, the darkness. Got nothing else to call it yet, besides maybe the sickness. I'm not down with it. Okay, now I'm down with it. Bad touch? Oh, I've been saved. Do we have an Estrava? Oh. We've been in their custody for a while. Took us through camp and then to a bed. Am I fully clothed in bed? In armor? With a weapon? And now he's gone, but he left this for me? Yep. Oh yeah, I'm fully clothed in bed with a, with a weapon. We can look at our map. Which they actually explicitly say is the share button. That's kind of amusing to me. Ooh. Hello. Here's my equipment screen. Nice little detailed character model. Nothing to equip in my secondary slot at the moment. Here's my map. And I'm not sure how to zoom back L2. There we go. That's how you zoom back in. So we're over here. Where is this? This, this might have been the city I saw on the uh, from, from the cliff back there. Which probably was somewhere around here. If I were to guess. Let's see. Was there a... No, there's no in-room view. There's a big, interesting-looking thing in the middle of the room, though. Thanks for saving me, buddy. Die, belongings. What's this? What is this? Oh, I turned the lights off in here. Well, that's polite, since we're probably going to leave. Oh. We have a goal. We need pieces of a triangle? Or a diamond? The bottom left corner and the top portion of the map. There's some kind of plans here. Sort of empties out afterwards, his little meter. Alright, a lot of little details to pick up on here. So we have a goal. We're building something, or needed pieces of something. There we go. Is this a teleporter? Warp here, use, uh, warp here any time using the map. Oh, cool. I can just click on it over and over again. So, if I walk over here, and I click on that. Whoa. Well, there's a dramatic camera. The, the impact of the teleporter is really cool. Not gonna get a lot done that way, though. Teleporting around in the same room. Puppy! No, come back. I love you. Oh, he's leaving. Are you gonna stop me? No? Puppy, come back. Oh no, I've lost him. What are we gonna do? All is lost. Oh! Nope. Bad. Bad touch. None of that, please. Puppy? Can- Oh, I cannot make that jump. That was a mistake. How about this? That also may have been a mistake. I don't see the dog. Also, obviously, there's a whole town back there that I walked past. But the dog got my attention. So we're going this way for a moment. Health pickups, it looks like. No! No! I thought maybe if I moved forward a little bit more, I could make the jump. That was a mistake. So it's there to taunt me until I get a be uh, possibly a longer range jump. Unless I can jump diagonally towards it. Ah! Uh... Yeah! 
take that? I don't know. Maybe it was something that was maybe supposed to stop me. Might have trouble getting, getting back, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah! Got it. So I've got some kind of yellow key, I believe. Oh yeah, it's down there on the bottom. I have a yellow thing now. There we go. Get out of here. They don't exactly stand a lot of a chance at the moment until they start stacking up. A lot of a lot of downed guardians is what I'll call them around here. These big relics of a bygone era that seem to be like a machine race that has lost its functions. That is a big old pile of corpses. Let's walk right into it. What could, what could go wrong? This place seems safe. Can I open this? Or is it only something that you shoot? I feel like I wouldn't want to melee that. Because it explodes. Anything useful? Might be a mistake to attack them like that at all. There's a big gun. Nope. Out of here. Was it? Just look. Oh, that is a hole. Okay. <laughs> That's what I get for interacting with that. Okay, water's not safe. Nothing is safe. We're learning a lot of things about this dangerous, horrible world. Careful. Ooh, it automatically locks onto the next platform. That's that's handy. You can move with more confidence in that situation. Can I go over here? Nope. What is this, a locked off area? Oh, it's, nope. That is not a wall. That is a flat dock. I thought that, it's, that's, from that perspective, I thought it might be, it might be a vertical wall. Hey, look at these. That seems peaceful. I'm gonna go up here first. Well, that was fun. <laughs> we'll revisit town soon, but I want to look around. Look at this. It looks like two gray men with tools. One has a hammer or a chalice. The other one has a spear, I think, or a scepter. I just want to keep stopping to look at the scenery because this is beautiful. <laughs> Even though they seem to worship adorable, they, they seem to wor worship adorable puppies, which I can get behind. Are you dangerous, plant? Not anymore. He's not. <laughs> uh, friendly. Friendly. Yes. Oh, he's telling me about some great cybernetic or tumor-covered. Toad monster. Maybe he's nice. Oh. Is that a dungeon? Hi. Definitely getting a little bit of a Zelda vibe from this. The old top downs. Also known as the ones that I liked. <laughs> oh, well, that's macabre. Alright. They're not friends, is what I'm getting out of this. Oh, you guys are aggressive. Excuse me. No more of that, please. Rude. All healed up, but I'm only I only have two more of those. So let's be careful about it. Try to practice those skills. I think right now this game is kind of symbolizing why I didn't why I only did a quick little one episode thing instead of doing a full playthrough of a uh, leap of fate. Like this is this is a similar top-down fighting game so far, but man, if the if there isn't just more to play for for me, I like having some atmosphere and a place to explore. This, this is absolutely beautiful. It does, in many ways, feel almost like there's like the the color palette and and uh, some of the art style of Fez is being applied to just a beautiful and breathtaking RPG like fantasy world. Look at this. It almost, it almost looks like a sentinel from X-Men was using a sword. <laughs> Completely overgrown, broken away as part of this waterfall. So was that actually like a surprise? Yeah, that is actually like a surprisingly complete looking map. There's the sword icon right there. We don't have to worry about getting lost at the very least. This place looks pretty big. I might regret not going back to the store immediately. Maybe we'll find a checkpoint at some point. Did that button do something? 
No, I'm not sure. Nice little touch that these lamps actually have the hissing sound of like being gas fueled. Ooh. Look at this. Oh. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I was going to try to trigger the elevator and then hop off, because I'm fairly convinced that this, those are Dark Souls-style uh, elevator switches, where it would call it to your location if it's not there right now. That's my impression, at least. Well, I'm sure we'll get plenty of chance to test it so sooner or later. Nice little line of sight radius there. It's gone now, because the lights are on, apparently. I like that little touch. Maybe light will be a component in one of the dungeons or something. We're underwater now. Oh! Thankfully my symptoms only seem to show up when they're not going to hurt me. But maybe someday it'll be in a bad spot. Oh, that's nasty looking. Someone's had a bad time today. Is this a teleporter? Because that would very much come in handy, but I think it's probably... Yeah, it's an elevator. So we're back at the surface above the waterfall. Handy. We just progress left to right across here. A third of the way to the boss if we go in a straight line-ish. But uh, this is a really huge area to explore, and I doubt we'll be progressing in, in a linear fashion towards it. Hip, hip. I'm always happy when I play a game where it seems like at any moment you can just take a screenshot and use that as a as a desktop wallpaper. We have two now. I don't know two of what, but we have two, we have two gold things. Maybe it'll be how I get an additional health point, or maybe it'll be how I get an additional uh, healing item. Try not to call them Estes flasks out of out of habit. <laughs> maybe it's required for progression of some kind. Are you a teleporter? You are a teleporter. Okay. That'll be a good opportunity then. Yeah. Let's go ahead and warp out of here. And visit that town. Got distracted by the dog. But hey, we got a little glimpse of a dungeon. So that's that's kind of a nice little starter. Rather than playing the game for five minutes. Then spending, I don't know, potentially half an hour talking to NPCs or something. Don't know how the town structure might feel. 